James O'Connor from sunny Toulon to rainy Manchester. Welcome to Sail Sharks. Uh, how's your first day been so far? It wasn't sunny yesterday. It was pretty beautiful actually, but first day is good. Just getting to know a couple of the boys and um, learning all the shapes and structures, getting back in the gym. So uh, no, it's been, it's been really good. Um, first of all, you've had an ankle operation just you know is that how's that gone so far yeah good I had an ankle operation a month ago so it shouldn't give me too much grief um, been with the physios already so uh, we're getting a good plan together so hopefully I'm back on the pitch training with the guys soon perfect um, what enticed you to come to sale um, you know is it the premiership you know what what made you come here it wasn't the weather <laughs> <laughs> no um, oh look it was just I had some great chats with Steve and um, literally from from the start I was very interested just the way I guess you guys are playing well obviously I felt it first hand when I was playing with Toulon um, just the structures you guys have put in place uh, great attacking rugby and it's something you know a place where I feel and he did as well where I could really take my rugby to the next level and I could be a key I guess a key link to really help this team you know go to the next level as well so I've got a, a lot of work to do and I'm, I'm really interested and I'm keen to put in the put in the hard work and the guys are, they're out here training pretty hard today as well so I just think it's it's going to be a good fit and I'm really excited about it. Um, what did you first make of Steve when you when you when you met him or spoke to him you know he's a uh, yeah what did you first make of him? Yeah we got along straight away got the same watch so I think that was a good talking point first <laughs> but um, I know look he's yeah very straightforward what he sees what you get and, and I enjoyed that you're a player that's played amongst all the back line, you know, 10, 12, 15 wing. You're fitting in at 10 here. Are you excited to play some rugby yeah. or fly off? Yeah, well, I've, I've played everywhere across the board. Um, I think I do enjoy it in closer where I can have more of a, not an impact, but more sound the game and the shape, shape of the game and just, you know, control. And you can, when you, I find when I'm out a little bit wide, you can get lost a little bit or someone like me so it just gets lost in their head a bit so yeah look it's it's definitely going to be a challenge I haven't played 10 in in a while um, so even just that being I guess a focal point was was big on me sort of moving here to really just test myself and you know just take my game to the next level I've been picking different parts of, of rugby from the northern hemisphere you know I've been in France and I've played with a lot of awesome players and you now I've come here and I think this could be a, a great home for me you've you've tasted the premiership before back in London Irish days is that something that was a factor as well? Yeah, it was good. I was. They always have to talk about you know northern southern hemisphere, and before I came over, um, everyone talked about how good southern hemisphere rugby was. But I actually found you know northern hemisphere rugby is closer to Test rugby, and I guess that's where everyone aspires to. Um, obviously, I enjoy the pitch when it's a bit harder and I can dance around a bit. But um, <laughs> in terms of I guess is a, a mental challenge and um, just. Well, I, I guess growth for me. That's I guess that's what I'm looking for. I guess you know that's that's part of you know the rugby journey. Even in life, you just you want to keep picking up things and learning, and you know trying to add them to your repertoire. And so yeah, uh, you've uh, you've mentioned earlier you sampled the AJ Bell Stadium earlier this season. You know you're looking forward to running out to, uh, on the turf for the first time there. Yeah, it will be good. Got a lot of work to put in first. Got to get fit, and then um, earn my spot in the team. So that's going to be tough and. Like I said, a challenge that I'm looking forward to. But then, uh, when that when that comes up, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to really enjoy it. Final question: You know, the likes of Faf de Klerk joining from the Lions. You've got uh, John Ross here from Stad and, and uh, Josh Strauss as well uh, from Glasgow. You know, it's exci some exciting signings. Uh, are you looking forward to you know working and playing with some of those? Yeah, exactly. Like. There's no sort of one individual I can pick out in particular. Uh, I think there's definitely been some good recruiting, um, and I've seen you know what the guys have done with the team. Just the the balance of the squad's very good. Uh, even from the juniors coming out, I was just watch, watching the skill level before. It's uh, it's high and it's very attack inspired, which is exciting for me. You know. <laughs>